Hello, welcome to today's immigration tidbit. All right, so first of all, assuming that you properly, uh, you know, got married within the 90 days and then filed the adjustment of status, that there's no inadmissibility issues, that it's a bona fide marriage, and so forth. Um, the the fact that it's been just over a year from today's point of view, um, with all of the you know, prior COVID delays, that's not that long. Now, the question I would have, though, is did you get the interview for the work permit? Did you apply for advanced parole? Um, have you received the receipt notice? So I would need to know if all of those items have been done to make sure it's processing. Now, they do have, <clears throat> they do have the writ of mandate, uh, which generally is done after a formal inquiry. So um, when you do a formal inquiry, if you have an attorney do it, they go through the attorney channels and do what's necessary to get a real answer on where it is, but more importantly, to let immigration know that you're being represented and that they can't just let it sit on a desk and do nothing. Um, so if the formal inquiry is ineffective, which that normally takes a few months, uh, then of course there's the writ of mandate. Now the writ of mandate uh, is a lawsuit filed in federal court against immigration, uh, basically claiming that they have to be ordered to make a decision on this case, to move forward. They can't just sit on it forever. Um, the Administrative Procedures Act requires that within a normal time frame that it is processed. Uh, so the question becomes, what is a normal time frame? Now, a year and two months, um, again, for immigration purposes, even before COVID, that, that wasn't that long. Um, so now it would be quite difficult to file a writ of mandate and claim that it's <clears throat> taking an extraordinarily long time to go forward. Um, you know, once it hits two years, uh, then, of course, you know, we're more in the neighborhood of what is unreasonable and so forth. However, if you just wanted to jump in the water and get it done, you do the formal inquiry, then the writ of mandate. And of all the writ of mandates I've done, about 95% of them have a decision or get settled prior to ever going to court. It's a great piece of leverage, um, but it takes a lot of work to sue the government if that's the path you want to go on. Okay.